looked like uh, Castro's pitch count was going to be an issue, and it got you through seven. What what changed there? No, that was a gutsy effort. Yeah, it really was in a time of need. You know, we were, uh, most games like uh, have some of the games we've had. You really need a one of the reasons why you like starting the veteran guy in the second game in our situation. So, um, you know, he he gave us what we needed, you know, to get through it physically. But uh, you know, he. Uh, uh, Started getting the ball down his own a little bit more, and like you know, we started catching the ball a little bit behind him, and we gave him about four extra outs. So that uh, doesn't bode well early in the game, especially. What was Sonny Gray doing that was making him difficult? Just uh, you know, most guys they throw more breaking balls than anybody in baseball, and uh, they have the most highest average velocity too. So uh, you know, when he commands that, it's tough. But uh, um, you know, late light fastball. You know, obviously, he's had a lot of rest, so you know they're. They uh, got deep in the game with both their starters. What does it tell you about where you guys are and where you need to go going forward? There's been so many games like this where the starters have kind of done their job and given you guys a chance to win, and really nothing else. Has yeah, you know, right. offensively it's been a struggle. We, you know, we didn't score what four runs in 18 innings, and uh, you know, give a lot of credit to their pitching, but uh, you know, that's uh, that and. Uh, being uh, consistent defensively has been a real challenge for us. So it's two obvious things we've got to get better at. Since the All-Star break, Miguel Castro's really struggled. Uh, what do you see? What, what have you been seeing? It's pretty good tonight, except for the home run. You know, he just got ambushed on fastball. That uh, you know, you could tell he's done that. I think he did it to Brocky one time. Same situation. So um, you know. I've said it before, sometimes guys are fine physically, sometimes the knife gets a little dull. And, you know, as a young pitcher's had two years, so, you know, we keep an eye on it. We're making sure he had two days off today and I think four before that. So, uh, yeah, he's close, close, but, you know, against good teams, close sometimes. You know, he's, what, one pitch away from having a pretty good outing uh, with results, even though he had a lot of base runners. When you, when you look at the defensive struggles, I mean, how much of that is, you know, physical and mental mistakes, and how much do you think might be like a familiarity with playing with each other since it's a you know, group that's really kind of... No, I'm talking about, you know, we missed a cutoff man, and we just don't hit a target that we're throwing to, and, you know, catch a little late covering home plate. But we also threw out a backside stolen base, which we work on a lot. We, uh, uh, you know, we had a double play we didn't turn on, on one four three, that just a half a step. That's a tribute to Gardner's foot speed coming out of the box. Um, and we turned... Uh, some other, you know, there were some good defensive plays too, but uh, you know, not enough, not enough to offset, you know, the, the miscues we had.